I'm Margaret McAvoy from Classical Art at Home, and we are so excited to offer co-ops the opportunity to draw together as a group and use our learning platform to learn how to draw and enjoy it and also learn from each other. Now, our program enables seat managers or co-op leaders, however you want to call yourself, the opportunity to enroll students so easily. And in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how that's done so that you can see there is no complicated onboarding process to be intimidated or burdened by. So looking over at our website, we will see what your website will look like when you log in. So I'm going to click on the dashboard. As a seat manager, um, this is what you're going to see when you log into the site. Now over in the left hand corner, We'll see what your students are going to see. So as a seat manager, you have access to all the same courses your students have access to, but you don't use up a seat. So that's helpful to know. So when your students log in, they're going to see this landing page with a couple of commonly asked questions to get out of the way. And then below it, you'll see the classes you've selected for them to use. So here we have, most people will probably use foundations of drawing and you can see that right here with the bar, okay? And as you see, they don't have the drawing from life course because there's no bar underneath it. Okay, what you do have on your screen that your students will not have is this little green button that links you back to the dashboard. The dashboard is unique to the seat manager or you would call the instructor of the class, whatever you like. So in this dashboard, probably the most important thing in enrolling your students is the Manage Seats button. Up here, so this seat manager has a total of 10 seats in their class. Now you'll notice the first login there is the teacher, again, does not use one of the 10 seats. And so far they have administered, given three students their membership login uh, information. So if you want to add another student, you would just click this button, add user. You would give them a name. So I'm going to say student four and their email. Let's do student, student four at gmail.com. Click add user, select course. You're going to, I would maybe do a custom list or you could do all the courses you've paid for in the membership. Most people will probably be selecting Foundations of Drawing and the live Zoom art classes that your students will have access to, which is really a wonderful opportunity to take a class with Kevin McAvoy. So I'm going to click Add User and as you see, it'll just load and then there we are. I have another user put on my list. Four seats, five users. So let's say one of these students decides not to take the course. Well, what's really great about this is you could remove them and then add a different student. So it's very flexible and very easy to use. And once you've enrolled them, it will email that student automatically. So you don't have to go through the trouble of sending out all of these emails to your students all the time. The website will automatically send them the credentials for them to log in on their own, which makes it easy and takes out that stress of the technology burden. Okay, which I appreciate. Then, also on the site, we have this button here called Report Center. Probably the two most important sections you're gonna use in here are user progress, where you can see how much time your students are spending on the site, which is really useful to know, just generally. Are they on it? How is it going? And if you have any questions about this, you could always contact us. You could click directly on one of those users and it will give you exactly how much of the course they have completed, where they are with it. If I click more, I could even see exactly which lessons they've completed or not. So this is a test person, so you're not going to see many check marks, but you might see here Look, he's uploaded a sphere drawing. Okay, so let's go look at that. 
What's that mean? That's an assessment that he's put in. I want to see that assessment. So when, he, when that student uploads it, it goes to the review center, and it would first sit in the unreviewed, ungraded section. Once it has been graded, and you can either have the system grade it or you can assign an instructor in-house to grade it. Um, usually it's just checking to see if the, all the components are there. Once it's, before it's graded, it goes in this unreviewed section. And then once it is graded, it goes into the reviewed graded section. So you could see exactly who submitted what and where is it at that time. Then you can go to the grade book and here you can see, let me select the course, I'm going to select foundations. These are the students I've put in so far. You can see their average so far from the graded portions. And then once they've completed the course, they will get a certificate. So you will have a list of the certifications. So it's very user friendly. I'll go back to the dashboard here. And it really makes it a breeze to do the administration as a co-op. So we're really happy to have this as an option because it is fun to sit around and do these lessons together because then the students learn from looking at each other too, which is really a lot of fun. Well, I enjoyed showing you how to enroll on our site and uh, let us know how it goes.